Good morning, afternoon, evening, as the case may be, in your part of the world. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Zen Archer, and this is Minecraft Adventures in Minecraft. Zen Adventures in Minecraft, and this is a bone cruncher tutorial, or at least a bone cruncher demonstration. Uh, I'm in the FFA map that I've shown you guys before. Um, at least I'm in that same sea. This is the one where we, where we had the village spawner over there next to the church. Uh, and the flower garden up on the hill, right up there. But uh, this this is uh, a relatively new seed. And so uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to show you what this is, and then in the next episode, I'm going to show you exactly what it is that I did to build it. In the meantime, you can go ahead and try it, try your hand at it yourself, and uh, see how you do. So I was in this village, and I was jumping around and looking at stuff, and when I got to the end of the village over here, there was this big hole, which, of course, I have to, if there's a hole, I have to fill it, so I had to get in there and take a look, and I came down here, and I was getting shot by skeletons, just like crazy here. So I made a couple of places like this to hide behind, and then I would run forward and do another one and hide behind, and run forward and kill more skeletons and hide behind until I got up to here when I saw this cobblestone. Actually, this cobblestone was mossy cobblestone. It was green and cobblestone. And I knew that that was a spawner. So, I opened it all, or I walked in, killing and throwing down torches all along the way. I walked in, and what I found was a spawner. And you'll see that there. Now, normally a spawner doesn't look like this. It's just a cobblestone room. It's got a couple chests in it with some goodies and a spawner like that. So what, we, what I did was, um, when I came into the room and had killed the, as many skeletons as I could, is we put a torch on four sides and on the top like this. And then that stops it from spawning anything. Now, this works with creepers, zombies... Um, or, or I'm sorry, uh, any kind of spawner really, but spiders, uh, zombies, and skeletons, it works with them. And you can tell what kind it is just by looking inside and seeing what kind of creature is revolving around. So right now that's disabled, it's not going to cause anything. So then I dug down and uh, expanded this out. I added water in the four corners so that they would stop right there. And I dug down enough that it just exposes the skeleton's legs. And then we got to doing a little bit of work below here. I'm going to show that to you now. Let me get rid of these torches so this gets to, gets to working again. I'll just get rid of all four torches. I have to be careful that I don't accidentally break that because uh, I can't put it back in if it gets broke. So there it is floating in the air now because I dug everything out from around it. And I'm going to go out here and close, get rid of the torches in here and close this up so it's nice and dark for them. They spawn better in the dark. There we go. So that is spawning skeletons. Now I made a little stairway down. Just like this. A friend of mine, PV, a fan of vision, said he didn't know what to do with the skeleton spawner, so I thought I'd show you. Um, get rid of this block and this block. Under here is a hopper. Whoops. Under here is a hopper right there, and it feeds into this chest. And right there is where the skeleton's feet are. Up here, inside here, is a sticky piston with a block that's going to push that block into the skeleton's heads and kill them, smother them to death. And when that happens... Their drops are going to go into the hopper, which are going to feed into this chest. So right now I have the lever pushed up in order to kill, and or, or in order to trap. And when I pull it down, it's going to kill the, the skeletons that have fallen right there. I just do that. And before I do this, let me get rid of these in here so you can see this from scratch. Okay. So now we like that, and if you watch the chest, you will see the bones that they're dropping and the arrows that they're dropping here in the chest. So that, that little group that we just killed gave us 10 arrows and 7 bones. And 
all the time that they're being killed, more skeletons are being spawned in that room. So if you just push it up to trap them, you'll see their legs fall down there. In short order. There's one. And there's a few more. I get a position you can see a little bit better. Now, sometimes the drops don't actually fall in the hopper. Sometimes they land outside the hopper. But with this half slab, so they can't shoot me or anything, with this half slab here, I can just walk down against this sign, and it'll collect the uh, anything that didn't get in there. So I'll put that back. That's the way I like it. Kill, kill, kill. So now I basically have an unlimited supply of arrows, an unlimited supply of bones. I can use the bones for bone meal. I can use it to tame wolves and, and have pet dogs. Um, I can use it for bone meal in order to grow my crops or trees that I plant. Um, so anytime I need arrows, I can just come over here and get them. What you see here are the ones that have, have all, this is already produced. Um, as I was making the video. So over a, over a short period of time, you end up with a few uh, of the things that you may need. So it's that easy. And, and that's what you do with the skeleton spawner. And that's why you don't break a skeleton spawner. You leave it there, disable it, and then get to work and make yourself an endless supply of arrows and an endless supply of uh, bones. Now, if that were a spider spawner, then we would do basically the same thing, killing the spiders, uh, maybe even have them pass over lava so they die on the way out, and uh, then we would just collect the string inside a chest. And with string, you can make uh, fishing poles bows uh, for bows and arrows, and uh, also four strings will make one block of wool, so you can make blocks of wool in order to use for beds and things like that. So string is a, is a useful uh, thing in Minecraft, and you can do the same thing uh, with a spider spawner, and that's what you can do with a skeleton spawner. With a zombie spawner, we do it a little bit differently and kill the, the zombies by hand right now, and uh, then we just collect the XP points, and we can use those XP points in order to enchant our weapons and and uh, tools and stuff like that. We can uh, then use those tools and things and barter with villagers or, or just do our job more efficiently or better. Some of my best equipment comes through uh, uh, using an XP farm in order to quickly enchant my weapons so that I can do a better job of surviving this cool, cool world called Minecraft. So, that's all I've got for you today. Until next time, this is Zen saying, Hasta la vista, buenos dias, shalom, aloha, mahalo, and be well.